This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 04, October, 2019. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announces that the number of deaths caused by having associated pulmonary injury. The latest CDC figures coincide with a new Mayo Clinic study that says toxic chemical fumes, not oils, may be to blame for varping-related illnesses. The CDC report from 48 states and the U.S. Virgin Islands as of Tuesday represented a significant increase from last week's total of 805 varping-related lung cases and 12 deaths. A man stabs five officers at the central police headquarters in the French capital of Paris, killing four. The attacker, who was shot dead by other officers, was an admin worker at the station. Police were running around in panic. A witness who was inside the courtyard at the time of the attack told the Parisian newspaper. This evening reports are being carried by two reputable French news outlets that the man was a recent convert to Islam. Police have searched his home in the north of the city and taken his wife into custody, although the Paris prosecutor's office said she has not been charged. A shooting in Vancouver, Washington, United States leaves at least one dead and several more injured. A man was killed and two women were injured Thursday afternoon in a shooting at Smith Tower Apartments in downtown Vancouver. Homeland Security team is on the 13th floor but not connected with local police communications. Amid an impeachment inquiry against him, President of the United States Donald Trump says China should start an investigation into presidential candidate Joe Biden. Chair of the Federal Election Commission Ellen Weintraub again explains that it is illegal for any person to solicit, accept, or receive anything of value from a foreign national in connection with a U.S. election. In a statement, Biden's deputy campaign manager and communications director, Kate Bedingfield, said the president is flailing and melting down on national television, desperately clutching for conspiracy theories that have been debunked and dismissed by independent, credible news organizations. As Joe Biden forcefully said last night, the defining characteristic of Donald Trump's presidency is the ongoing abuse of power, Bedingfield said. Democrats, meanwhile, immediately excoriated Trump's latest comments Thursday as unacceptable and indefensible, suggesting that the president is only strengthening their case for impeachment.